As you mentioned, there's a tragic suicide epidemic among our veterans, among our military and their families. While the military and VA have, are working on the problem, their efforts continue to fall short. There are a number of faith-based programs outside the DOD and the VA that are continuing to be successful in, in stopping suicide and divorce rates. Spiritual fitness works on these types of problems. The government is not taking advantage of these programs and services. So my question for you is, when you become president, will you support and fund a more, more holistic approach to solve the problems and issues of veteran suicide, PTSD, TBI, and other related military mental and behavioral health issues? And will you take steps to restore the historic role of our chaplains and the importance of spiritual fitness and spiritual resiliency programs? Yes, I would. Look, we need that so badly. And when you, when you talk about the mental health problems, when people come back from war and combat and they see things that uh, maybe a lot of the folks in this room have seen many times over and you're strong and you can handle it, but a lot of people can't handle it. And they see horror stories, they see events that you couldn't see in a movie, nobody would believe it. Now, we need a mental health uh, help and medical